The next step is, see how every time you come back to this, it's on this examine function here, yeah. on session mode. You want to go to specify and see how all these pop back up. You're going <clears> to <throat> uh, go to malt. Okie dokes. So again, go to your, your right SI units, go to system. Um, so when we did this, uh, this grounding layout behind this, we're going to import it in. Guy. Um, actually, there's an input file. So remember how I meant I how I told you dot imp. Yeah. We're gonna open that. Show data. See, there's our grounding layout, and if you look, it is pretty much the same thing. Uh, one thing we do need to kind of figure out. I could probably do it real quick. Do it here so you can see. Issue documents or CG documents. Altair. Uh, Altair. Probably this one. Let's see if it's Elvin's name on it. No, that's Sam's. Well, what I'm looking for is this information. So if I could find it for Altair, which is right here, the adding. So phase align to ground fault. We're going to take this value. Copy that. Throw it right there. You can probably delete that comma. So click OK. Oh, uh, before we do that, let's go to Sesh CAD. And what that does, my right round it pops up. Hold up. I like to go there to fine tune this drawing even more. There's 10 ambiguities. There is a way to repair all. No ambiguities, because we kind of already did this. Oh, well, there's still some. Uh, select ambiguity. What's wrong with it? First conductor. It kind of looks like they're all overlapping. Yeah. Five conductor overlaps. So, uh, I'm going to click this, zoom in real quick. And I bet you if I move this, the same line is going to be under it. Oh no, you see how it overlaps right there? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll trim this down, move it back. I'll put that sucker right there. And I'm going to try to repair it. There it goes. So it look, apparently that line had four ambiguities on it. Now that we fixed it, let's go to the next one. So it's gonna click the next one. It looks like we're having problems with the same line. Let's see if I could fix it. Uh, got this error, just ignore it, it's fine. No ambiguities, so it fixed it itself. Uh, probably when I moved it, it had like a little bit, tiny little bit overlapping, and it just kind of took care of it. So, we're going to automatically, when you close this, it'll save it. It'll pop back up. There you go. Alright. So we got our magnitude done. Got our drawing here set. We're going to click OK. 
All right, next thing we're gonna do is uh, oil soil type. And you're gonna import the soil that you did before. This F11 file, open that up. Show data, you got your thing here. You got your measurements here. All the stuff that we did it before. Uh, make sure I'm not missing something, click okay. Uh, computations. So computations is what you're doing is you're setting up a Cartesian plane of what you wanna actually uh, apply that line of ground on your model. So there's your Y, your Z, and your X gonna be over here. And it's gonna be uh, by default just put three, or I'm sorry, by default put 100, put three, Hold on, actually that I'm not going to put anything. So do you understand the concept of DX feet? Yeah. So when you're doing derivatives, you're taking pieces. So you're saying every three feet is what we're going to take a, a model at. So S1, this is for your Y coordinates. So that first one was for your X. Now I'll put 100 again. And dy, you're gonna put three feet, same thing, click OK. So you see this yellow square? You're gonna push the x origin that way. So uh, this, you gotta kind of play with it to kind of get it where you want it. I'm pretty happy with my x being right there. And I'm gonna increase the size of my, my x value to push this yellow circle, yellow square to be about right here. So by doing this, you can see how it starts to grow. And I'm gonna push this back just a tiny bit just to get it nice. Uh, that looks good. So I like my X square. My X is pretty good. I'm gonna work on my Y now. So by doing that, same thing. Uh, first actually, let's move the origin, see if that helps. So it looks like it's uh, working pretty good. Oh, so that well, looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna try to encapsulate more area around it. So I'm gonna increase this to about 120. And I'm gonna move this back down a bit. Maybe a bit more. No, let's just cut off some fat up there. There you go. So, looks pretty good, right? That's a good general. You want to encapsulate some area around, just to kind of give you. So there's probably a fence right here, and per our standards, we do have to protect three feet outside this fence. And it's also an IEEE requirement to protect the public. So you click OK. Uh, look at everything if you want to look at it one more time show your data what you're gonna process so when I click the Christmas reef one or two one of two things are gonna happen uh, it's gonna go good or it's gonna give me an error and then we got to go chase it so hopefully it's not the latter so far it looks good usually when it's going fast like that it's pretty hunky-dory Move that chair for it if you want. This is gonna take a while. If you didn't get an error in the first cycle, you're probably okay. So now it's doing another cycle because there's so many points. I'm actually going to... Alright, so once... Uh, it looks like it worked great. Click your report. Uh... That's still pretty good. That's actually really good. I'm sorry, I didn't see this. So it's 0 0.09, so point, point 0.1 almost uh, resistance, which is super good. You go ahead and save this as your grounding report. Save. 
so you go to computations, plot, draw. That's your touch. So what you're looking for is around here, you have a really nice uh, balance. So you got about 158 maximum, three feet out this fence. And in the center, you're looking real good. <clears throat> Click down here. Uh, this one, hold up. Which one is it? Yeah, step voltage spherical. Click plot and draw. I think it's out of the way. So those are our ground rods. They really help, you know, bring everything down. And everything's really small voltage values. The last thing you do is go to safety. This is, uh, our clearing time is 0.08. Surface resistivity is 3000 for the shock rock. And we put four inches of that and we generate that, that report. So all what we want to do is our step, to, our touch to be underneath this value, which it is, it was like 150 at most. Uh, sorry, our touch. And then our step was like at the most, maybe 30 volts. So we're really good shape here.